Salutations, my Planet Coaster friends. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Scott Boogie, and welcome back to Trumbull Park. Um, I got a quite, quite a bit done um, over the last few days or so that I've been working on this. Um, at the time of recording this, I'm still uh, cleaning and doing some cleaning up of my studios in the basement here, and you know, I decided to add a few things to my trumbull park you know to take my mind off of the situation of having the flood right now or being flooded and trying to recuperate so what i did was you know i designed this little coaster here this little rail coaster that i called uh the looper rail you know nothing much nothing fancy um just go up and go and take in two inversions and around a half helix and back into the shop um i finished decorating my rodeo queue line and things like that and i had a priority pass uh, i did all the lighting in a couple of videos back added this little scenery here uh, as a little photo op area and then a couple of shops here to get you something to eat and drink uh, little railroad train that i got right here you know another little area to take photo ops info stand and in the break room for the guests but the update that i want to do today is focus right here guys oh before we get to that i even added my jaws coaster that i was talking about uh, this uh sign was on the workshop so i had to go and add that to my ride since i was making the jaws ride so i said hey here we go and the layout of this ride fit perfectly in this little pond area that was in this map so that's why i said yeah i already know that it was gonna fit when i sized it up so we had to go and add that in here and path that on up so we know that that's gonna be in here as one of the attractions as well hence that's why i got all the path going on right now so i just wanted to make sure that this ride was attached to the path and everything but like I said, this episode, uh, this little update, not nothing big right now, nothing uh, long. Uh, we're going to do a little justice for flat rides right here. Because I wanted to have um, this bumper car here, but I didn't want it to be plain. I wanted to decorate it a little bit. So, um, since we was going with the cowboy area and things right here, coming off into here with the little couple of western buildings, I wanted to make this like a little pet petting zoo like a little horse barn or whatever but put the the uh bumper cars in there and have like a little barn entrance for the queue line and things like that so we're gonna show a little justice to flat rise with this and uh i'll catch y'all in the next update all right guys <clears throat> excuse me I think this is what I want to go with right there as the entrance piece for the queue line or whatever. And I have the queue line in here just a bit leading off into the bumper cars over there. But this little area here, I wanted to like core it off and have like uh, some horses there. Um, Cause uh, if somebody had made some horses out of basic shape a few months back um, but like I said I, I gotta go back and try to locate a lot of items that I use from the workshop and so I can get some of these creators names again so I can rewrite them down in my notepad because I, I have a new notepad now because my other one was destroyed in the flood so but um, they made some horses out of basic shape that I want to use as scenery for this bumper car setup that we're doing here right now so we're gonna go on and add this little duplicate this little fencing and go ahead and, and uh oh add this together and see what we can come up with right quick right quick um all right then yeah let's go over here we gotta make it like this too um like I said, it's not going to be a long video. It's a little justice for flat ride right now. So I'm just prepping it right now. I'm getting it prepared, uh, set up so we can have a little justice for flat rides. 
out here. A little justice for flat rides out here. Uh, okay, we're gonna stop the gate because I don't know how far the wall is gonna come for the the barn. So, all right. So now we got this prepped up, and I don't want to terrain it yet until I get everything situated. But um, all right, yeah. Let's get to the next part of the update. And we're back, guys. Um, so you guys, it was just a jump cut. For me, it was a couple hours later. I had to take a break. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's finish now that we got the barn set up. The you know, barn set up around the bumper cars. Let's go on and close up this fencing here with just like that, like so. Oh, wait. I don't like that. Alright. Okay, we're going to do this here. We're going to do this like that. Let's bring it down. Alright, there we go. Alright, now there we go. Now we got our little area that we can have some horses in right there. We just need to do a little terrain painting over here real quick. Uh, we don't want it to be that big though. Maybe about like that. And, oh. I hope we got something we can use. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there we go. We can use that. Yeah, we can use that. that. That'll work just fine. That'll work just fine. Just go ahead and, like, just sporadically just, you know, add that there to give it that little barn look. Yeah, yeah that barn look. Alright, there we go. So, we're going to have our horses over here. Um... You know, I need to put, like, a little trough out here, too. I think they got one of them. Uh, let me see. I, I think they got one of them like that somewhere in the sceneries or something. Uh, I know I remember seeing something like that. Um, wait a minute. I think I know where it would be. Should be in this somewhere. Alright. Let me see. How big is this one? See, look. There we go. Use that. That'll work right there. And just sink this in the ground. But put this right here. And sink it in the ground just a bit. Put one right there, and maybe now one over here. Yeah, so the horses can have something to drink on. There we go. All right, so now we got that in here. Um, it was something else that I needed too. All right, here we go. I I don't, I don't feel like looking for it, so we're gonna edit the building here now and just split this one from the building because I don't want to accidentally delete this and we're going to have some of these out here somewhere just you know just in case they want to put the horses up sometimes and knock them down let's have a couple of these out here alright a little justice for flat rides here guys a little justice for flat rides alright we'll put one right there as well put one right here maybe two all right now that'll work and then over here we gonna need to put a fence of some sort because we don't want the horses running up out of here even though they could jump over the gate but then we're gonna have some tame horses man they're not gonna get up out of here but we still want to put us a gate up still want to put us a gate up so we need us a barn style gate so let's go with this but I gotta put a hinge on there cause I wanted to make it look like you can open this 
So this is what we're going to do. Put this there. Well, you know what? No, I'll put it right here if I want it like it open. I want this part to open. So we're going to put this here. Then let me get one of these small ones. I probably needed the big one. I probably needed another big one. But for what I'm trying to do now, we're going to use the two small ones. So we're going to leave a little bit of a gap, just a bit, a little bit of a space. Then connect this one to the building now. I don't want to blend it through too much because I don't want it to be bleeding all through the wall and everything like that. Messing up my illusion here. Alright, now I need to go to this because I need something like that as a, uh, you know. Let me see what side it's going to be on. Alright, so it's going to be like this so as if the, the, the gate can swing outward. So let's Oh, 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 I, did, I rotated the wrong one. Sorry, guys. I said, I might got to straighten it up, too, now. But it's like it's okay. Now, we're going to put this together on here. So, it look like a hinge on this gate. So, you can open this gate. And then over here, just put this on here like that. So, this look like the rest of the gate has been properly put together and secured and let me see I think now we will go to the building get a post now and I get a post and get us a post and put right there on this side like right here let's put us a little post here Well, I should have probably used the other one, but this one, this one good. I'm going to put a little post here. Um, but it's one more thing we need, though. One more thing we need, though. Um, let me go back to this. Oh, go back to this. Go to TVs and let me see something. Let me see. This might be just this might be too long for what I want to do, but it may not be. Well, you know what? No, it ain't. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. I know exactly what we can do here. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. Need to straighten this thing back up again, though. Alright, that's cool. Now, let's take it up, like, halfway. Go through the gate. Go through the gate. And then rotate this thing around this way. We'll see what'll happen. Let's see if we can make us like a little handle. You know, make us like a little handle of some sort. To look like we opening and closing the barn gate. Where the horse is at? Alright, I'll take that. You know, I'll take that. Alright, so now we got a handle for the door to open that to keep the horses in there. Now we just I just need to find those uh, horses on the workshop and place them in here and I think we should be all set and maybe you know what maybe I fence off the side over here add us some fence over there too I'll put a little fencing over here too to complete the barn area you know just to complete the little barn experience that's what we're gonna call this the little barn experience little quick update like i said i'm gonna try to keep you guys in the loop every time i add something to this part so you can see my process of how i came about everything that i wanted to do to the park so yeah all right so do i want to cut it off here maybe cut it off here for the front half here 
Yeah, that 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 should be all right. And um, probably add like some more here. A little fencing here. All right. Check me out. Check me out, man. I'm having fun. A little justice for flat ride, guys. A little justice for flat rides. So we're not going to fence this off because that's going to be the exit going back out to the pathway over here. But what I do want to do, though, is let me uh, path this some more. Hold up. I want to... Um, Let's make a little bit of a another path or some sort this way. All right, so I'm gonna do that like that so it won't be such a long pathway out. And then here we can add a few things. Like maybe, let me see. Like maybe, let me see, take that out. We could put, yeah, we could put us a planter right there. Might put a planter right there of some sort. Um, coming up out of the barnyard. And we just need to add some lighting around this thing. So I'm probably going to use the oil lamps like these here. That's typical for the barn. So we're going to probably have some oil lamps on every other post around this thing here to give it lighting on the, on the, that front. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get these horses placed and the lighting placed in here uh, so we can see what we're working with, guys. All right, guys, and there it is. All right, we got our um, bumper car set up justice for flat rides all together, all at one. You know, we got the queue line and everything connected together. We got a little small queue in here then you come out here you got some old queue over here then you got the priority pass line right there and then we got a few little horses over here like i said i can't remember who created these so i gotta go back on the workshop and get the creator's name so i can write it down in my notepad but yeah this is what we got right here this one uh, i don't know what i want to call this ride down you know i gotta change the name of it and we also need to fence off this too you know we need to fence this off so, Let's put a little fence around here. You know, we don't want nobody jumping the line, you know, jumping the line, even though they could jump over this gate, too. You know, they can jump over this gate. You know, it don't matter. It don't matter. All right, so there we go. That looked a little bit more realistic. So let's move this light as well. Put us one on the end of here. To even the lights out on this thing. And I think we got to do the lighting in here, but... The lighting in here is going to be simple as well, too. So we just going to add. Matter of fact, let's do that now. Oh, oh, oh. Kids dropping stuff. All right, here we go. All right, well, I'm about to wrap this video up in a minute anyway. Uh, this was just a quick update. Like I said, I try to, I'm trying to keep you guys in the loop of any additions that I add to the park. Because, like I said, I'm taking my time with this park. I want to have a lot of intricate things in there little you know cool items and things like that custom custom coasters and all that good old stuff you know so i'm taking my time with trying to put the right rides and things in this park so bear with me bear with me and i'm trying to take you guys along the way every time i add things to the park or take things out of the park you know that, that that's not going to work for me anymore or whatever so yeah if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and go over to my park beyond facebook group and join over there as well guys we always looking for some new members over there as well we're a new group we're a new group we're small so we building, we building. All right, so we're trying to keep enough light around this area. So, yeah, like a barnyard. It ain't going to be too lit. No, it ain't going to be, it don't got to be too lit. It's a barnyard. All right, so over here, we'll just put some oil lamps along the path as well. 
sporadically scattered out like this. And then I'm probably going to put either some haystacks and stuff over here. Some bales of hay leading back to the path, you know. Just to, just to top it off with the, the barn style, you know, you know. A little something, a little something. Uh, do I want to put another one here as well? Yeah, we can. We can put one right there. All right, so that's how we're going to end that right there. We're going to top that off like that. Um, all right, maybe put one of these oak trees over here. Put one of these oak trees over here in the middle. Oh, whoa, whoa. Turn the light back on. Can't see. Can't see, guys. Got to turn the light back on. All right, so we got this here. Maybe put one here. And, oh, whoa. And one here, maybe. All right, that should do it. That should do it. And there go our barn right there. Our justice for flat rides. And I still got to come up with a name for this thing. And I'm going to put an archway over this for the guests. Uh, you know what? We're going to change your outfit, man. We're going to change your outfit, man. You're going to be wearing red. You're going to be wearing... You know what? Gonna, let me see. You're going to wear brown, man. You're going to be wearing brown, man. You work in the barn. All right, give him some black pants, though. Give him some black pants. Yeah, there we go. All right, you working in the barn. Oh, right, hold up. I mean, we got to change the priority guy, too. Yeah. Got to change him, too. All right, so y'all got to wear brown, man. Y'all wearing brown up in here now, man. Black pants on. Y'all working in the barn just in case y'all, you know, slip up. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of horses around here. All right, so, and one more thing that I think I said I want to add, maybe a planter here, you know, put a planter of some sort there, but we don't have to do that right now, man. Like I said, this video was all about the Justice for Flat Rides and hooking up the bumper cars right there, so now we got our bumper barn here. Hey, there it is, the bumper barn. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to have the bumper barn, and we got our little petting zoo right there for the horses right there. Mm-hmm. So if you're new to the channel, like I said, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and be on the lookout for more videos on the way over here on the channel from Trumbull Park. Yeah, this was just a little quick update, guys. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go back and check out my other videos. I got like four more that I put out before this one, um, showing the process from beginning from this parking lot start off all the way to where we at right now yeah. so until next time and until my next trumbull park video guys i'll catch y'all in the next one